Russell Grant here. Welcome back to Grand Prix World for rounds 7 and 8 of the 2003 season. Um, mixed bag, wouldn't you say? Um, we have no wins this season, but Shinji Nakano is top of the pile in the Drivers' Championship. Um, not sure if he'll be able to hold on to that. We do have an upgraded A-spec car, though, <clears throat> and hopefully very shortly we'll be working on a B-spec. Um, with that in mind, oh, it'll be the next turn before we can work on that. Okay, fine. I forgot. I did stuff. I did stuff with the stuff. And now because I did the stuff with the stuff, um, stuff has happened. You know what I mean. Um, okay, that means for now I'm going to start work on a new traction control project just to make sure we're not losing, you know, not missing any beats. Um, we did some more recruiting and in terms of sponsorship, we're actually in a really healthy position at the moment. Um, I'm going to leave 10% on the shell deal to try and get us some bonuses. Um, I'm hoping to tie out the Bridgestone deal after this Grand Prix. Uh, and we really need to get some bonuses on the Mugen Honda deal, so I may consider dropping success cards onto them. <clears throat> we will be reducing our hospitality spend um, back to pre-caring levels because it's just there's just no need. Put an extra ten percent on this. Um, and I'm actually going to continue to split our focus a little bit, little bit um, because we really do need to get ourselves some good big money sponsors. So let's try and do that. Um, <clears throat> OK, are the cars repaired? I don't think they are. No, they are not. But we have lots of spare parts. Oh, we're on a B-spec car. OK, that's good to know. Um, spent all these okay sorry about that I'm, I'm, I'm back on board now I just wanted to make sure that I hadn't done something stupid uh, like I normally do so um, it's very hard to get a lay of the land so far this season um, McLaren have been looking strong in qualifying they've not really been able to consistently bring it home uh, over race distance uh, we look weak in qualifying but much stronger uh, over race distance and then you've got teams like Jordan and Arrows that are sort of just able to pick up the odd big result out of almost nowhere um, and that's keeping them somewhat in play uh, right we have is it another new intermediate it is Good job, me. And we have discovered a level 3 traction control, which we can't copy, so we're going to complain about it. <clears throat> and we'll check Jordan for traction control. If we could find a level 2 system, we could just copy it, hopefully. Level 3 is um, too advanced for us, so we, we can't reverse engineer it. Okay, on to Canada. Um, what I'm hoping for is another good haul of points um, and hopefully a bad race for McLaren. 18 degrees dry with a strong wind. The power unit should be fine, more than fine with that. <clears throat> Not a bad qualifying session then. Uh, Damon Hill on pole for McLaren are 118-111. Pretty close um, behind is his teammate David Coulthard, another McLaren 1-2. They've dominated that front row. 118-260. Uh, <clears throat> Johnny Newhouse, strong turnout for him, putting his Ferrari P3, 118-365. John Fellows in the Arrows, 118-527, takes P4. First of the Bridgestone runners, our very own Shinji Nakano, 118.528. So close to John Fellows. Uh, Pedro Diniz, just behind on a 118.552. Hiroshi Tanaka, 118.606. Uh, 
uh, he beats out Toru Takagi's Jordan. So we're very similar to the Jordans and the Arrows on quality pace. <clears throat> 22 degrees and cloudy. This is the first race for our um, B-spec machine, so here's hoping. Um, oh, hold on. We have a new power unit that we've not been using. Even more powerful. Good job we put that in for the race. Imagine what quality could have been. Uh, right, we want 35, 34, I think, with our old buddy Shinji Nakano. And our second driver will pit first, actually. So, right then. Place your bets. Well, it's something good. Oh, oh, the B spec car. The B spec car comes good. Shinji Nakano is your race winner. A 134.15239. Uh, six seconds and change ahead of teammate Hiroshi Tanaka, who brings it home second. About time he started to deliver. Johnny Newhouse rounds out your podium for Ferrari, a 134.29775. The McLarens continue to go back over race distance. Um, David Coulthard, P4. Marini's Minardi, P5. He's continuing to overdrive that car, to be honest. And uh, Damon Hill takes the final points for McLaren. Um, meanwhile, down in loser town, quite high attrition in this Grand Prix. Um, both arrows failing to make the finish, um, but it's the Saubers and the Prost, three laps down. Wow, that must be very painful. Emmanuel Collard beating teammate Rubens Barrichello, surprising. Shinji Nakano uh, continues to lead the Drivers' Championship. I didn't think I'd be saying that sentence, but there we go. Hiroshi Tanaka moves up one place to seventh. In the constructors, we are now a mere four points behind McLaren, and the B-spec car and the new power unit <clears throat> looks like a devastatingly good combination. Um, I dare we dream, dare we dream. Um, a small profit uh, between Grand Prix, about two hundred thousand. Um, let's see, we've got another boost from Blondes. That's nice. Um, I'm going to drop a TV advantage on the Mugen Honda deal, and HSBC are offering 2.5 million for one season, PIAA 2.3 million. I'm going to use it on PIAA because we haven't made any progress on those agreements yet. Um, still not quite there with Bridgestone, but we're getting close. Uh, we have a work still in place with Shell, but we really need those bonuses, particularly because it's a two-season deal. Um, <clears throat> okay. No commercial staff. We do have some new design staff, though. That's good. It's our wage bill, really, that's starting to um, slow down our profitability, but we're fine with that, really. In terms of uh, design, we're very close to being finished with next year's car. Uh, we have a brake upgrade to apply. Um, I'm going to push on with another suspension upgrade. Small progress on the driver aid front. Um, yeah, okay. Let's see how expensive it is to test in France. Not that expensive at all, which is good. That's what I wanted to hear. Um, Uh, I'm going to reduce some of the uh, the load there, and we really don't need that much attention paid to fuels anymore. It's mostly about tyres and development. I don't know if I've put too few mechanics in some of these places. But I guess we will see. We did a little, um, but that's fine. 
Okay, let us begin work on a C-spec car. For that, I am going to take off 10% from there. I'm going to take off a good 30% um, from next year's car, or maybe 25%. Um, actually, I'll put 30% on this and 30% on next year's car. Okay, cool. Now we have to be committed to the C-spec car because we are already halfway through the season and um, if it takes as long as the last one then it's barely worth doing. So that's why I'm putting a good amount of guys uh, onto doing it and we'll, we'll focus on the four strings testing to make sure that we boost it as far as we are able. Okay, you're going to have to start making some cost-cutting measures in the next Grand Prix, but that's fine. Um, okay, tyres. Intermediates, softs. Um, I'm going to boost the intermediates. Excellent. And... We're almost done with fuel testing, so that's good news indeed. Let's see if we can continue this uh, healthy momentum now. Um, and also hopefully start turning a bit more of a profit so we've got money for the final build and assembly. Uh, let's check the news. Winfried have signed with Jordan. That's quite a big landing for them. Uh, Tool and Shell signed a works deal, of course, which we knew. Um, Frenson got the fastest lap. Some sponsors have been signed. And... Yeah, nothing major. Okay, that's fine. Hospitality is all under control. Um... Oh, what did we discover? What did we discover? Level 2 traction control. Can we? Yes. Yes, we can. Um, I'm willing to spend money to get new traction control. Look at that, how cheeky was that? That'll do nicely, thank you very much. Uh, then I'll go for a new active suspension system. Okay, let's apply that. New fuels. Um, new wet tires. Not that we tend to need wet tyres very often at all, really. Uh, in terms of setup, I'm going to follow the engineers. So no boost to speed or downforce for this track. Actually, now um, Tanaka is seemingly able to bring the car home. I'm going to turn up his aggression just a little bit. Uh, push him, see if we can't develop in, him, him into a better driver at least a little bit. So maybe he can find a seat elsewhere. 22 degrees cloudy with a strong wind. Uh, we have another upgrade to our car in terms of a new traction control system and a um, a technology upgrade. Uh, we're continuing to press on strongly with fuel development. We have some solid hard compound tyres. Our power unit isn't lagging behind the way that it often does. It's fairly average but it's strong at the end of average. Um, let's see. Okay, bit weak. Um, 
we are half a second off the pole time, so it's very tight at the top. David Coulthard um, on pole position again, 115.458 ahead of teammate Damon Hill. John Fellows puts it P3 for the Arrows. Toro Takagi fourth for Jordan. And then Marini leading Rossi in a Minardi third row. We qualified P8 with Shinji Nakano, a 115.945. And Hiroshi Tanaka disappoints us yet again, 116.368. 31 degrees um, air temperature. That's going to suck. Uh, that's not going to be great for us. Um, but as long as the power units can can last it out, um, then maybe we still stand a chance of bringing it home in the points. Fortunately, our tyres are, are more than happy to work at that temperature. Um, we shouldn't have any issues getting them into a good operating window. And a lot of teams will also be running the soft and thus pitting more often. Okay. More good news. Ooh, so close. Shinji Nakano failing to finish. Hydraulic failure taking him out. Um, but Hiroshi Tanaka manages to recover to P2. Um, very strong recovery drive from him. I guess it could have been a 1-3 or a 2-3 if Nakano had been still running at the end. Uh, given Nakano was 11 seconds, 11.4 seconds off the back of Hill. Oh no, one minute. 11. Okay, yeah, it wasn't even close. But he does he does beat uh, the Ferrari of Johnny Newhouse. Um, points on the board for Arrows and Jordan as well in the form of Panis and Deniz, P4 and P5 respectively. Frentzen is your last point scorer. Um, that means Nakano is now joint first in the Drivers' Championship uh, with Damon Hill and Tanaka jumps two places to P5. In the Constructors, we remain four points behind McLaren, but that's a very achievable gap and we're way ahead of Ferrari and Arrows. Uh, which is good news indeed. Healthy profit turned again, about half a million in profit uh, between the Grand Prix. Uh, we have a works deal ready to sign. Uh, one of our sponsors has pulled out, HSBC. Those motherfuckers. We will talk to PlayStation then. Otherwise, bonuses are slow to come. But in terms of budget, we are already ahead of this year. Plus an extra 10 million coming in the form of Dario Loretti. Have we made any progress uh, on anything else? Um, yes, we have. Our C-Spec car is driving on a pace and we are very close to being finished with a 2004 car. Um, I'm working on performance now. Reliability will put in afterwards. Um, Yeah, so there we go. Guys, thank you so very much for joining me. I hope the week is being kind to you. Take care of yourselves and we'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.